Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Trello with Google Calendar. First of all, we have to create our account at trello.com as you can see as I did. Uh, and if you're familiar uh, with Trello, uh, you basically know uh, how, it's, uh, how it's working and uh, you basically, I believe you got a couple of workspace boards already going. But I created this one just for you, just to show you how to make this integration. So let's try and uh, let's try and find the way how to integrate Trello to Google Calendar. First option is we can try to, uh, through the already implemented integrations in Trello. So let's go like this, click on the, on the board and go to the top right corner to show menu. Uh, once we are here, we want to go to Power Apps and we want to search for Google Calendar. As you can see, there are a couple of calendars, but none of them is by Google. So we have to use something else. Uh, let's use Zapier.com. Uh, by this application you can do, or with this application you can do a couple of a uh, couple of uh, other integrations, but you also need to create an account here, but don't worry, it's painless. Very easy and no extra ads or something disturbing. So let's go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap on Zapier. We want to name it. Let's go with, uh, I don't know, Trello to Calendar. And now let's make the zap or the integration. Uh, as you can see, the first one is obviously Trello. It will be the, uh, the um, application that will be affecting the Google Calendar. So let's go with Trello or, or just simply write it like that into search engine. Choose event. There is a couple of events you can pick from. So let's go, I don't know, new member on card. We press continue. Uh, we have to sign in with the account we already created at uh, Trello. Press continue. And uh, the trigger board will be the only one that we actually have in here. And it's this MS Stone test. So we want to pick that one. Continue. You can also just, uh, check the trigger, but it's completely unnecessary. Second action is the other way or the other end of this integration. In our case, it's Google Calendar. Let's use our search engine. And what will happen in new member on card appears to be in, uh, in Trello. Let's say it will update the event. Continue. And the last step is just to sign in uh, to Google Calendar. And that's about it. So. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.